Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Direct D and his utter contempt for the judge in his case. Oh, because it did end up getting him in some to, into some deep doo-doo. Did I say doo-doo? I mean a river of shit. I mean, Direct D, are you willing to go that far? Well, I guess so. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy, uh, well, this douche canoe really, uh, digging his own grave. Ra ra raggy. What's up, folks? So I got some funny ass shit to tell you, but first, let me put the Mesa court number out there so you can call and try and get a hold of either John Tats or Raymond Schumacher. <laughs> All right, I need your help today, folks. We need to do a phone call marathon. We need to get some answers from this court today. So I need all of my 220,000 subscribers to help me get some answers today. The phone number to the court is No, 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 no call flooding on my channel, Direct Douche Canoe. No, that's not going to happen because I don't believe in it because it just causes nothing but problems. We need to call and we need to ask Raymond Schumacher and Judge John P. Tatz why they still work for the Nazi party and where they've got their swastikas tattooed on them. Well, Reducio at Hitherum, uh, we are starting off early with the uh, tyrants, aren't we? Because you just know that these guys are the worst tyrants ever. That it's not like the original Nazi party which sent people to death camps. I'm, oh, did I say death camps? I meant happy camps. It's not like they uh, were sending them off to... Uh, oh, these camps and uh, all sorts of horrific experiments were uh, done on them for the uh, Nazi party. It's not as if, well, uh, wait, there is no comparison, you dipshit. Okay. Um, we need to redress our grievances with this public building and these public officials uh, for not knowing the rules and just being stupid in general. They're really fucking stupid. Uh, direct douche canoe, I wouldn't really be talking about stupidity because you really need to look in a mirror and realize, well, how uneducated you are in comparison to these people who spent years going to college to learn their trade of law. I mean, come on, there's just no comparison between an average lawyer and yourself. I mean... That worlds apart. <laughs> so somebody sent me some shit about uh, allegedly I have a court date and a contempt of court and all this other crap. Um, but that's irrelevant. Let me let me explain to you what criminal contempt of court is and how a how a municipal court can't issue you a criminal contempt of court. It says it right here in the Arizona laws. 
fucking stupid. They can't get the rules right from the superior court. And here they go threaten me with contempt of court that they can't even give you in a municipal court. Criminal contempt in Arizona is ARS 12-861. ARS, Arizona Revised Statute 12-861. Criminal contempt. Now there's another contempt. It's called uh, civil contempt, but that's only in family and civil court. This is for criminal court. So ARS 12-861. Criminal contempt, a person who willfully disobeys a lawful writ, process, order, or judgment of a superior court. Superior court. Mesa Municipal Court is not a superior court. So you're already fucking failing right there. But let's just read the rest of it anyway. Well, direct douche canoe, I mean, you really need to work on your research skills. If you would look up the uh, exact duties of the lower courts, they can and do have the power to do what the, is necessary when it make, comes to the superior courts. So, you know what? You really should get off your high horse and, uh, well, man up and take responsibility for your actions because you done goofed up, boy! Superior court by doing an act or thing therein or thereby forbidden. If the act or thing done also constitutes a crime of criminal offense, shall be prosecuted against for full contempt as provided. Yeah. A person who willfully disobeys a lawful writ, process, or order, or judgment of a superior court. I haven't refused to follow any lawful writs, orders, or judgments from the superior court. So the Mesa Municipal Court threatening me with contempt of court is a fucking joke and you guys can go fuck yourself. Well now, I'll direct douche canoe. Uh, while the superior court doesn't exactly have jurisdiction over you, the Mesa court does, and they do have the, some of the powers of a superior court. And well, they can't administrate that punishment to you. And well, good luck getting around it, you dumbass. And I hope all of you today call and ask the court what exactly they're talking about. Where do they think that they get the jurisdiction to demand anybody to go in for criminal contempt? You ain't the superior court. ARS 12-861. Criminal contempt. There's only civil contempt after that. Literally, that's how dumb they are. You realize that? Go read it for yourself. I just gave you all the information. It's not, I'm not interpreting it weird. I'm, I just read it to you verbatim. Well, dude, I, uh... I'm delighted to tell you this uh, because, well, your research skills suck. I mean, you just don't stop at looking at the surface. You go deeper. You dig a lot deeper to find the nuggets of information. Well, the whole picture, not just the nuggets, because I don't want to be accused of quote mining, but you find the whole picture and the whole picture doesn't look good for you right now dude threatening a judge and everything like that not exactly gonna win you any uh friends at the bottom it says that there's something else here too so ars 12 863 refers to trial so there's things you have to do a trial the trial as provided in section 12862 may be by the court or basically if you, if you get charged with 861 that's criminal contempt then this applies and, and anybody that gets charged with contempt in Arizona you get a trial by a jury. That's what that says right there. If, if a judge charges you with contempt you get a trial by jury. That's ARS 12863. That's the level of dumb that we got going on here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Direct douche canoe. I mean, I'm glad you can admit that you are, uh, well, not exactly uh, the brightest bulb out there. I mean, the first step is admitting it. The rest is recovery. So uh, go out there and uh, just try not to be as dumb as you normally are. 
you got a municipal court that thinks that they're just going to order people to show up for a contempt hearing when that's something that only happens in the superior court. The municipal court cannot hold you in fucking contempt because they're not a fucking judge. Do you know what contempt is? It's the continuation of something you've been told not to do or you don't follow an order that the judge gave you. None of that shit's happening and you ain't a judge, homie. Oh my God, this is a fucking joke. You know what? Yeah, all this is one big joke and you're the punchline. And But you know what? You're such a bad punchline that you're giving me a damn headache by listening to you. So I'm going to cut it off for now before my damn head explodes due to so much stupidity. At any rate, guys, I'm sorry to cut this short, but I just can't stand this guy for too long. So I will see you on the next video.